In this video, what I want to do is show you different ways you can get a PDF page thumbnail. Uh, this would apply to PDFs, MS Office documents, and others. Since the last video you've watched, I took a quick liberty of refactoring our kind of React sample that we've been working on and separating the web viewer into a component. That kind of reflects a little bit more of a real life uh, architecture that you probably create in your application as well. Uh, so we still have the web viewer running. And as we can see here, uh, we have the viewer kind of separated out into a separate component located under components under viewer. And the code here hasn't changed at all. Now what we want to do is go ahead and generate a thumbnail, maybe for the first page. Uh, so the use case here is that we're building some kind of UI that allows uh, users to select several page documents. Uh, so we want to pretty much, we just want this thumbnail uh, in our file list director or something like that. Now for that, I don't think that we should be loading up the whole kind of viewer UI and the components just to get a single thumbnail out of it. So as such, I actually wanted to show you a different way you can initialize web viewer library but don't load up the UI and still get access to the same API calls. What I want to do here is I'm actually not going to need the viewer component. So I'm just going to remove that. And instead, I'm going to load up a script uh, that's going to allow us to access all of the PDF trans functionality. Uh, so to do that, all I got to do is navigate to my public folder. Uh, and under index.html, we can just kind of go ahead and point our script to be loaded um, to the web viewer lib core core controls.js. So now, uh, now that we added the script, we should be able to access core controls.js uh, from the window. Now, again, better practice for this. This is just kind of for the sample reference. You could load up the scripts uh, on demand as needed and unload them when you're done. But again, this is just for demonstration. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a thumbnail. So first things first, let's go ahead and introduce a new use effect that's going to be runtime um, at the first time the app loads up. And again, we're going to put nothing in our dependency array. Save it. And then also we want a place to kind of store a thumbnail and then show it um, uh, once it's ready to go. So I'll just create a new uh, state, uh, just local state for this application. Uh, for this component called thumb, and then I'll say set thumb uh, as well. And then for now, it's just going to initialize with being empty. And over in kind of what being returned by our object, let's go ahead and create a new image tag element. And inside of it, we're going to say, well, src is going to be kind of the thumb that we're going to be getting from here, small typo. Uh, so we will say thumb to data URL and you're going to see it later. Um, the function we're going to write is actually going to be returning a kind of canvas element or an image element that later we can call to data URL and just populate it inside of our image tag. And then we also want to provide width and height and for the width and height, you know, uh, I'll just put kind of predefined values to 200 and 300 pixels. Again, um, you can improve that sample by getting the actual page dimensions and accounting for whether or not the document is portrait or landscape in your own application. Okay, so inside of a use effect, I'll create a new function that's just going to be called get thumbnail. And inside of that function, uh, it's going to be an async function. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the core controls um, off of the window object. Uh, so we loaded previously by adding the script uh, to the kind of the window object inside of the public index HTML. And then we're going to initialize it by setting um, the worker path that it needs to still kind of operate and load up the PDFs or MS Office documents. So to do that, we'll just point it to our web your lib and then core location. And after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new document. 
and uh, it returns a promise for when the document is created. And we can say, so here we could be passing the URL of the documents that we're trying to load. Uh, and again, let's just go back and just reuse the same PDF as from previous example inside of our viewer component here and paste that in here. So um, our sample PDF sits right here. Okay, so after it loaded up the document created and uh, one more kind of gotcha here is if you do not have an extension available, sometimes you're loading up URL object for an S3 bucket or some kind of file storage and not always, um, you know, your path is going to return an extension at the end of the file type. So to tell WebViewer what kind of file it's loading, whether it's PDF or DOCX or any other um, PNG, other file format, I would recommend passing extension uh, as one of the parameters uh, in this options object, and I would just say PDF. So this way WebViewer knows right away what kind of workers it needs to load up and then what kind of file we're passing to it. So after the document has been loaded up, uh, we can actually start requesting that call to receive uh, kind of uh, that thumbnail out of it. So the API code here is going to be called canvas uh, async, and it takes an options object. So here we want to kind of say what page number we want. So I think by default, page number one of a document is pretty good. Uh, but again, if your process is a little bit different, uh, you can put in whatever value. And then it takes in a callback function for when it finishes loading the document and rendering the first page, we'll just kind of call your callback function that you're about to pass in. It's going to call the callback function um, with the thumbnail after it generated and finished drawing. So here what we can do, we can call set thumb to actually set it uh, with the thumbnail that we've just received after it's finished drawing. Okay, and then, so that looks good to me. Um, so we have this function, and then uh, one more thing, we actually gotta call it. So we'll just call get thumbnail. And then after that here, you know, we don't wanna be rendering out this empty uh, image tag if we don't actually have the thumb ready and available. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that in curly braces and put a condition. So thumb and perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at what actually happened. Okay, perfect. And as you can see here, we received our thumbnail for the first page. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.